Hey guys, Marcel Leblanc here, Certified Financial Planner, and today I want to talk to you guys about mortgage protection and why it might not be the best way to protect yourself if anything were to happen. What am I talking about? I'm talking about you're going to see your bank or your mortgage broker to finalize your mortgage documents, and all along the way they're going to present this nice looking product that will pay off your mortgage if you, your spouse, or any kind of co-signer might die before the debt gets paid off. All I want to do today is explain what it is you're paying for. Now the first thing that pops to my eyes when I'm looking at these contracts is you just named the bank the beneficiary of your insurance. This leaves absolutely no flexibility for your loved ones to pay for your funeral or anything else they need to do if there's a death in the family. The other thing that pops up to my eyes is that you're paying a level price for a decreasing amount of insurance because it goes down as you pay your debt. The last thing that I want to illustrate here is that let's say you pay off your mortgage in 25 years. Your coverage ends. Imagine how expensive life insurance would be 25 years from now. You might not even be able to qualify if you've fallen sick in between. Another thing most people don't realize is that a lot of mortgage contracts go on five-year terms, so you renegotiate after five years. You might change banks after five years. In these circumstances, you might have to re-qualify for your insurance. And if you don't think twice about your health history in the past five years, you might not be able to qualify for that mortgage protection or even an individual insurance contract. Another thing I already mentioned, it, mortgage protection doesn't leave your loved ones with any cash. The only way a paid off house is going to give any cash is if you're remortgaged and that might not actually be possible with one spouse's income. So I'm not saying that people should go ahead and cancel all these mortgage protections that most people have on their mortgages. I'm saying you should have a look at combining your debts or your, mor your insurance needs into one real life insurance contract that will leave cash in the hands of loved ones so they can deal with whatever they need to deal with. They're going to sit down with a, an advisor or a financial planner and they're going to see what priorities they have for themselves. So thanks again for your time and have a great day.